Hello and thank you for joining us today as we spend time in the Word of God, as these devotionals, which we do each day, uh, just give you an opportunity to get the Word of God in your life. I believe that the more place you give the Word in your day, the more you'll, you'll find that God speaks to you and, and you experience Him. And you, he, His desire is that we give Him place each day. And so this is just a short teaching to, to, to spend a bit of time to meditate on the word, to devote ourselves to him and to, to hear what he's saying to us today. And I, I'm going to continue today something I was talking about yesterday. And that's because some, sometimes cert, certain truths in the Bible, you've got to stay with them a little bit. And yesterday we were talking about becoming more aware of God's presence, God's presence and specifically yesterday, we talked about us being the temple and he is in us and the importance of us acknowledging and speaking that truth. And I'm going to stay on that theme today. And we want to talk more about his presence. And we're going to look at some scriptures which show you the difference that his presence makes in your life. So let's, and, and again, we've been, we've been looking at some things in Jesus. Jesus is our example, and we want to learn from him. So we're going to see some things in Jesus as well today, and then we're going to look through other places in the word about the truth. In Matthew chapter 1, this is, this is talking about the birth of Jesus. Matthew quoted from, from the prophet Isaiah, and I just want to read that, and we've heard this, we know this, but, but receive from this, dwell on this truth today, and what this means. Uh, Matthew 1 23 says, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. God with us. This is the truth we want to dwell on today. God being with me. Now, you know, this name was given to Jesus because it, it, it's prophetic. It, it identifies part of who he is, or not part of, but who he is. He is God with us. Uh, but we're also going to see that, 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 that the Bible talks about God being with Jesus. And the presence of God was with him. Yesterday, we talked about him being in us. Today, we want to see about him being with us. Now, God chose this name for a reason. It's because he wanted, he wanted to start to build into us the reality that he is a present God. Uh, even in the Old Testament, one of his names is the Lord is present. Uh, he's not a distant God. He doesn't stay off in the distance. And some, some Christians just, they seem to think he's way out there. And where is God's presence in my life? And, and the reason I want to look at this more today is to build your faith. Faith comes from the word. And as you see this truth in the word, I want you to begin to build greater confidence that God is with me. His presence is with me. He's not distant. He's not impersonal. He's here. And because he's here, he's actively involved in my life. And we're going to look at some scriptures that are going to show you that God being with us is not just a theoretical truth. It's not just something. He's not just there for, moral, for background, silent, moral support. He wants active involvement, and he can have active involvement. His presence uh, means that, that, that he'll get involved in things, especially as you open his heart, open your heart, and begin to believe he's with me. And speak this out. So let's look at, let's look at a, 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 first of all, a scripture about him being with us. Uh, John 14, verse 17. This is, we've quoted this already. This is talking about the Holy Spirit. Just the last phrase says this, for he dwells with you and will be in you. There's two things there. He'll be in you and he'll be with you. And, and yesterday we talked a bit about it being the temple and him being in us. But let's focus on him being with us. Let's know, let's look at what that means. What does it mean to have God with me? God's presence with me in my life, in my day. In the battles that I face, in the challenges that I face, I'm not alone. He's with me. But it, it, does that mean he's just there to pat me on the back and say, you can do it, you can do it? Or is he going to get involved? Does his presence mean we can expect him to do something and to show up? Uh, you see, in, in the Old Testament, when they went into battle, it was important to them that God's presence was with them. 
That's why they took the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant represented the presence of God, the glory of God. So when that Ark went with them, that was God going with them into that battle. And he wasn't just there in the battle to sit on the sidelines and watch and cheer them on. He was there with them in the battle to give them the victory, to overcome the enemies that were trying to oppress them. That's why when Joshua, when they crossed over into the promised land, Joshua said, Father God, will your presence go with us? This is throughout the word. And, and, and we'll talk more about just some of that in the Old Testament in just a moment. But Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. A familiar verse to a lot of people. Just hear the ending of this verse particularly. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. Now that word for, for God was with him. That, that means this is the reason for the healings for God was with him meant because God is with him. This is a reason word. It's saying the reason people were healed, the reason people were set free from the oppression of the enemy, the reason things happened in these people's lives through Jesus was because of the presence of God. God was with him and therefore God showed up and, and things happened in people's lives. Good happened in people's lives. He went about doing good and healing for God was with him. See, this is what happens when the presence of God is around. When you get in the presence of God, when you get around God, he shows up and he does things. You begin to have confidence in the fact that God is with me. The Holy Spirit is with me. His presence is with me. I'm not alone in this battle. He is with me. And because he is with me, I believe he shows up. Now, let's just see some things here. In Exodus, when God called Moses, Exodus 3.12, God said to Moses, when you go to Pharaoh, I will certainly be with you. Moses went into Pharaoh's court with a confidence God's presence is with me. I'm not alone in this. God said the same thing to Joshua. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. God said the same thing to Gideon when God called Gideon. And God said to him in Judges 6, 16, surely I will be with you. So Gideon could go into battle. And God, what was God calling him to do? To deliver them from the Midianites. The enemy was oppressing them. And God showed them, my presence is going to be with you in this. And I'm going to bring that uh, deliverance from oppression. Notice time and time again, as enemies came up against and Moses went into Pharaoh's court, right into the presence of the enemy that was oppressing the people. As Gideon faced the enemy, as Jesus went and brought about healing for people who were oppressed by the enemy, God said, my presence will be with you. And God's presence brought about deliverance and healing and victory over the enemy. God's presence is not just a theoretical moral support. As we begin to have confidence that God is with me, God said by, through Jesus that the Holy Spirit will be with you and in you. Begin to put your faith or, or stir up your faith that God's presence with me means overcoming the enemy. It means that he backs me up in battle and his presence brings me through. I don't have to rely on my own strength. It's not about my own wisdom and what I can do. It is that his presence is with me and his presence shows up in battle. And this is so powerful. Let me read you just a couple more scriptures because these are just short devotionals. <laughs> I know I'm quoting a lot of scriptures today, but I want you to see this in the word. God with us. Psalm 23 which we quote often, the Lord is my shepherd. But Psalm 23 verse 4 says this, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Now, why? Why don't you have to fear that evil? Now, if evil is going to overcome you and defeat you, then maybe you're going to be afraid of it. If, he, if evil is able to beat you, then you might be afraid of it. But notice this, I will fear no evil, 
for. There it is. This is the reason. This is why I do not have to fear the, when the enemy rises against me, when the evil comes against me. I don't have to be afraid for you are with me. You are with me. Your presence with me means something. And therefore, I don't have to be afraid of the enemy. And I don't have to, because God is going to put me through. And, 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 and his presence brings, his presence in battle causes us to rise up. I believe David faced Goliath with the confidence that God was with him. That's why he wasn't afraid of Goliath. And he knew he was going to win. Let's look at one other verse here. Isaiah 43. Another familiar verse and one you've probably heard before, but see it in the context of God with us. Isaiah 43 verse 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers. Now, does it make any difference that he's with you? When those rivers and those waters are rising up and the floods are rising up in your life, and that this is a destructive vice and it's getting more intense and, and stronger against you. Does it make a difference that he's with you? Is he just there to stand on the shore and say, it's all right. You just keep swimming. I'll encourage you. Thank God when he does that. But in this verse, notice this. Through the, a, 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 when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, what's going to happen because he's with you? They shall not overflow you. His presence makes a difference. Now notice the next phrase. When you walk through the fire, now fire, that can hurt. <laughs> it's not something I want to walk through in the natural. But sometimes there, there, there's, there's battles and there's pressure and the enemy, the fire is on. Just like when Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were thrown into the fire. And, and what happened is God was with them. God was with them and that they were, there was protection from that fire and what it could do in their lives because of his presence. This is what he says here. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Why? Because his presence makes a difference. God being with me means God shows up. God being with me means that I believe and I can expect that his presence is going to do something in the battle. And if you're facing healing, uh, sickness and the enemy is trying to oppress you, you can begin to say, Father, I thank you that you are with me. And when you show up and when your presence shows up, the oppression of the enemy has to flee and is overcome. And this, I don't have to be afraid of the evil. I don't have to be afraid of what's rising up. People are afraid these days. Let's build greater confidence in God's presence with us. Let's become more aware that he's with me. He's in me and he's with me. Speak it out of your mouth. Put this on your lips. Acknowledge it to him and pray and say, Father, I thank you that you are with me and that your presence is here. Your presence is with me and I can walk in your presence. The more you dwell on this truth, the, the more it'll, it'll become real to you. That's why don't just jump over this onto the next truth. Dwell on this for a little bit. This is very powerful. Take some of the scriptures I've looked at today. And just meditate on them through the day and speak them out and say, Father, I thank you that even though the, the flood and the fire is rising up against me, that you are with me. And that makes a difference. And I give you the glory and the honor that your presence in my life is, is enabling me and helping me so that I come out on top. And the oppression of the enemy and the enemy that rises against me will not overcome me because you are with me. Hallelujah. And Father, we, we thank you for your word today. We honor you. I thank you for the, the truth of your word. And I thank you that as we give your word place in our lives, you're able to speak to us and minister to us. And you're able to, 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 to work, do a greater work in our lives. And we want to honor you and we want to honor your word uh, today and throughout the day. And we give you the glory and the honor. Thank you for your grace and your presence with each one of us today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.